The classic colors of Côte d'Ivoire, a gorgeous patchwork of traditional and more modern takes on what you should be wearing. One designer stands out, transforming what he sees and experiences in the streets of Abidjan into clothing for catwalks worldwide. My designs are inspired by a wide range of things, especially life in the city. I draw my inspiration from artists, politicians, and life experiences in the city. With more than 20 years in the business, Sise Moise is a veteran among the designers from Africa who've won international acclaim. His work now, though, is to help rebuild the industry here, one torn by long years of political turmoil. The war affected businesses a lot. Many designers fled to other countries in Asia and Europe. Those that remained mostly focused on non-European clients, but since the end of the war, many of these designers have returned and there is more support for local brands. At his workshop in Abidjan, Sisse Moise employs 20 staff and mentors the next generation of Ivorian designers. The cost of production is very expensive here. Local designers struggle to make money for making clothes. Some would rather go to other countries where production is much cheaper. The fashion industry has proven its economic value in other African countries. Just look at Nigeria. Côte d'Ivoire clearly has the raw talent. Sisse Moïse says its designers just need the right backing. Sisse Moïse is among several designers that have made a significant contribution to the Ivorian fashion industry. He says with the right support, a lot more can be achieved. So, as Ivorians go to the polls, many designers like him are hoping that the next government will take the fashion industry much more seriously and help Côte d'Ivoire play a major role in both the local and international market. Susan Mongeli, CCTV, Abidjan in Côte d'Ivoire.